What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Rec Talk. And in the words of Lincoln Park, it gets to a point where feelings got to get hurt and get dirty with the people spreading the dirt. I don't normally call this guy out directly. We kind of laugh at him from a distance. It's kind of like a dog turd that's been sitting in the yard for a week or two. It's not hurting anybody. It doesn't need tending to. It's fine. It doesn't need to be interacted with. But right before I'm going to bed tonight, I see Kelly Quinlan's live show. And I saw that he literally, and I'm going to pull the clip, flicks off a Georgia Tech fan for asking the question, if you hate going to Georgia Tech games, then uh, why are you doing what you do? Um, Kelly will often bitch and whine about uh, having to do his job. Now, like I said, I usually just laugh at Kelly. I told you I saw him at the airport standing right in front <laughs> of the desk to board for like 30 minutes. I thought he was first class because he like it's 10 minutes to boarding. He just stands there. But no, he's like boarding class seven and nine. He just stands there like a doofus. Uh, so, look, I don't have any. There's really nothing wrong with that. He's a weird dude. Nothing wrong with being a weird dude. I do take offense with the way that Kelly Quinlan treats the Georgia Tech fan base because it's getting ridiculous. So let's look at this. Let me make myself smaller here. I know it's a little bit horrifying. No one really wants to see this um, Humpty Dumpty looking individual. But they pull this up. I don't want to play too much of it because Kelly is a petty guy that probably will attempt to copyright strike this video or something. Uh, he's not going to like it. But let, let's hear what he has to say in response. The guy asks, if you hate going to Georgia Tech games, why are you doing what you do? So up to this point, he goes on a tirade about he never gets to see his fam when he works hard and he's on the road 100 days a year. And I don't, I'm not I'm unsympathetic to that. Um, maybe choose another job then, though. This is what the job requires. Let's hear, what, let's hear how he responds to this. So I don't think people understand, like, the demands of time and all that stuff. I did... 90s almost 100 days on the road last year covering recruiting and different sports and all that stuff so you know that that's my response to you look at that again you know so i just want to ask you and buzzing jacket could very well be a subscriber to him and i'm not talking about on youtube I own that space, right? But he has jackets online. People pay like $100 a year for it. And this is how he treats Georgia Tech fans who, who ask him questions. Just uh, if, you know, I'd even encourage you for like a month, sign up for a membership, see how he treats people behind that paywall. This guy is entitled. He feels entitled to your money and entitled to being this Georgia Tech guy when he asks questions like, hey, Brent Key, do you think the edge center missing is going to affect field goals? You know, a lot of times he asks questions aren't even just questions. It's just him pontificating about what he thinks is genius. Again, I don't normally do this, but here's, here's the truth. Let me make myself bigger here. Let's get him off the screen with his double birds. He also shoots birds like he's um, a 10-year-old that just learned how to do it. <laughs> like that's the first time he's ever done it. Here's where I'm coming from. That's how he treats people who ask him questions. Is that someone you want to give money to as a Georgia Tech fan? Now, I don't feel entitled to people's money. We have, I think we just hit over 50 members. We've had Josh Pittman that's, I think, gifted 10 memberships in the last two shows. It's $5 a month. You know, I'm not the best with uploading members only content. I do react to all the keys um, interviews. And I do have insider information that that guy doesn't. That I can guarantee you. So is a guy that treats Georgia Tech fans like that really someone you want to give your money to? 
I don't. I'll let you decide. And this is where I'm coming from. I think Georgia Tech fans, which I am one, deserve better coverage. And Rex going to give it to them. Y'all have a good one.